Hi, I'm Jensen from Packmakers, and welcome to the Digital Defense Hack 2020. On behalf of the team, I'd like to congratulate you for taking the extraordinary first step to bolstering APAC's digital security capabilities. We'd like to thank our generous sponsors for making this event a reality. Our lead sponsor, Oracle, premium sponsors, IBM, ITIC Systems, and NASCOM Center for Excellence, and our community partners, Slack, the Public Sector Network, Uriga, Black Nova Group, DataSoc, Data Ethics for All, Sri Lanka Slascom, and the Data Security Council of India. We have a great list of speakers and challenges prepared for this exciting weekend. Without further ado, please welcome the Honorable Victor Dominello, Minister for Customer Service at the New South Wales Government. Hi, Victor Dominello, Minister for Customer Service. Today's hackathon, it's on an important topic, cybersecurity. If we want to think about where New South Wales needs to be in the 10, 20, 30 years ahead, cyber is at its heart to make sure that it's baked in for our prosperity. Can I wish you every success in making sure that your inner geniuses come out because there's a lot of problems that we need to solve and hackathons are a great way to do it. New South Wales is absolutely leading the country when it comes to cyber. We were investing $240 million over three years, uh, and that is the biggest investment, to my knowledge, in the Southern Hemisphere. We want to be a world leader when it comes to cyber, so that we're a very strong partner as part of the Five Eyes uh, partnership. But not only that, we're doing a lot of thought leadership in cyber. For example, we're done or undertaken the uh, task force in relation to cyber standards with uh, Oz Cyber and a whole lot of other uh, stakeholders involved in that, and that's going really well. We're doing regional cyber, so we're making sure we take cyber to the regions as well. And we've got sovereign procurement to make sure that we bake in some of the $1.6 billion that we're spending on digital reef uh, start fund into our own capacity building here. Because it's not just making sure that government is strong in cyber, we want to make sure that we build a strong cyber industry. I have no doubt in my mind that in the next two to three years, people will think cyber, they will think New South Wales. The big players will all come to New South Wales because this is where all the action is happening in cyber. So again, I wish you every success. We need creative geniuses like you out there to solve some of the really big problems, particularly around cyber. And, and if we do this right, we bake in and guarantee our, our future prosperity. So again, all the best. Please welcome Guillermo Ruiz. Global Head of Developer Relations at Oracle. Hi, this is G, and I would like to tell you a short story. Back in 2016, a leading cloud-based internet performance and DNS provider suffered the largest DDoS attack. 1.2 terabytes that disrupted operations in companies like Twitter, Netflix, Reddit, and many others. The root cause, the Mirai botnet, a malware that scans IoT devices and turns them into zombies ready for the assault. We found that tens of millions of IPs were part of that attack. Since then, we've seen larger attacks in well-known service provider. The last one, back in February, 2.3 terabytes, and this is increasing. Today, as we move into a digital world where everything is connected, think on the rollout of 5G, the techniques are getting more sophisticated. Variety of ransomware, who hasn't heard about WannaCry or Radio, phishing or even deep fake techniques, what is real? and what is not. If we add the lack of skills in cybersecurity, the latest ISE research sets the current gap in two millions for APAC, we have a perfect combo for the bad guys. At Oracle, we know this, and we try to protect you by providing solutions that are designed to help making the cloud security management easier. You will find services like CloudGuard, which is a lock and even aggregator of all our main cloud infrastructure services. We apply machine learning and artificial intelligence to monitor configurations and activities looking for threats. If the service finds anything wrong, it will attempt to remedy those threats automatically. Additional services like maximum security zones enforces security policies in the cloud. This helps keeping your data safe with pre-configured policies that can be changed for any reason. Let's remove the, oops, it's been a human error, or even worse, a former employee that was not happy with his situation. Over the next two days, you have a unique opportunity to show your talent and bring some cool ideas that can help solve and prevent some of the challenges we face today. I wish you all the best and hope you enjoy the challenge. Have fun and see you soon. 
please welcome Chris Hawkins, Regional Chief Technology Officer at IBM Security. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to those that are participating in this digital security hackathon. We know that cybersecurity is a global problem, but the impact of those global threats and efforts are felt by enterprise, government, governments, and citizens alike on the ground where you are and where you're working. Attackers are well equipped, they're well funded, they collaborate, and they innovate at scale using some of the world's largest IT resources, such as the cloud. In order to get ahead of these threats, we need to think differently. And I think that's what these hackathons are really incredible for delivering, new ways of innovation that helps us get ahead of the threats. Today, cybersecurity teams spend an enormous amount of time and energy reacting and responding to incidents that might be occurring within their environments right now, or something that's been happening in the past. Attackers have found ways to get into those environments, and in some cases, stay low and slow to inflict damage through advanced persistent threats. What my challenge is today for the people in this hackathon, and hopefully you can use some of the resources we've provided from IBM, is to start thinking about how we get ahead of that threat. IBM, through its global threat intelligence information, understands not just what the attackers have at their disposal, but also what is being detonated where. And that gives our customers a real, real insight into doing some proactive investigations around where those threats lie within their environments so that they can pick up those threats and remediate some of the triggers that force these advanced persistent threats into their environment. So today, I'm looking for a proactive approach to security. And by leveraging some of the tools, technologies, and advice that we provide you from IBM in this session, I hope to see some amazing results from yourself and your team. And thanks very much for your time and dedication to this, this global cause. Please welcome Prerana Mehta, Chief of Ecosystem Development at OS Cyber. As a result of COVID-19, we are growing increasingly dependent on digital interconnectivity. And this dependency is creating greater risks. We really don't know where our assets, our information and our data is being stored and how it's being accessed, which is why cybersecurity is increasingly important. We wanna be able to have control on who has access to it, when, where and how. Increased digitization means that we're ever more reliant on the interconnectivity of the internet. And that means that our information is being transferred, held and used by various people at various times. Cybersecurity ensures that we build digital trust and it also means that as users, we know where our data is going and we have control over who's using it, when and how. During our recent Cyber Week, we held our second National Missing Persons Hackathon. We had 635 participants finding over 4,450 pieces of information in order to find 12 missing people nationally. Australia's economic and national interests lie in a secure APAC region. And this was demonstrated just this week with the signing of the Regional Economic Comprehensive Partnership, the RCEP Agreement, which is the largest free trade agreement of its kind. The Asia Pacific Hackmakers Hackathon is a really fantastic, innovative way of being able to find cybersecurity technologies and innovations within the Asia Pacific region, finding real solution to technical problems. Please welcome Dr. Kopi Chan Katragada, Chief Executive Officer at Myelin Foundry. Congratulations to the participants. Congratulations to the organizers. Digital is critical. 
digital security even more so there's a greater reliance on digital on various aspects of how we do our business from data gathering to storage to decisioning it's all digital today and digital networks software and automated ai services are replacing paper phone and manual decisioning if they are not already replaced continuous technological change is a given technical services are introduced rapidly technical products are introduced rapidly but few if any old technologies are retired leaving gaps in security modernization cyber threat actors are increasing in number sophistication scope and aggressiveness this has to be dealt with greater variety and diversity of the compute infrastructure also means that there is a greater chance of leaving some aspect of our crown jewels unguarded there is an increase in cyber fraud related to some of the newer data sources such as image video voice and other unstructured data are you up to these challenges i believe you are so good luck and i do look forward to some of the outcomes please welcome warren mundine chairman at uriga jinjawala hello i'm warren mundine chairman and co-founder of uriga i'm speaking to you today from sydney australia and acknowledge the gadical people of the eora nation the traditional custodians of this land and pay my respects to the elders both past and present as well as acknowledging and paying my respects to my bundjalung yuan and gambanga people as well i would like to acknowledge my good friend the honorable victor dominello new south wales minister for customer service and member for ride yuriga is excited to be supporting the apex security hackathon Yuriga is an indigenous cybersecurity company. Our focus is to encourage Australia's first people to learn and work in the very exciting world of cybersecurity with our company. A conduit to indigenous communities, Yuriga is growing work opportunities through collaborations with a select group of key industry partners, leaders, and other indigenous organisations and government agencies. An example of this partnership to educate and employ Aboriginal people, Yuriga, along with our partner companies, iTech and Cybersecurity Defence, is locating a cybersecurity operations centre in regional New South Wales. This facility uses the latest in cybersecurity gamification technology to train Indigenous candidates in cyber attack and defence technologies and tools for a simulated real-time, real-world cyber battle missions. This learning and training methodology gives these candidates actual hands-on skills and allows them to obtain industry-recognised cybersecurity certifications in this NICE framework. It is events like this APEC hackathon that allows the up-and-coming and those already experienced in cybersecurity to show off their skills and be recognised and rewarded for their hard work and efforts. It is Yuriga's goal to give this same opportunity to Indigenous communities who want to learn and work in the cybersecurity industry. To all who are taking part in the hackathon, I wish you all the very best and you are already winners. Thank you. Please welcome Dr. Ian Opperman, Chief Data Scientist at the New South Wales Government. Hello, my name is Dr. Ian Opperman. I'm the New South Wales Government Chief Data Scientist and also the President of the Australian Computer Society. Let me begin by saying thank you. It's Friday night, you've got a whole weekend of hacking ahead of you and you're working in an area which is really important. I don't need to tell you that the world around us is digital, connected and becoming hyper-connected. Throw AI in on top of that and you find yourself in a situation where the amount of data we use, the amount of data we generate and the digital services that we consume are becoming exponentially more frequent, more common and more 
wrapped around all of us. Without cybersecurity, none of this works. And whether you're this weekend working on anomaly detection or deep fakes or a whole range of other areas related to cybersecurity, let me say thank you very much and I wish you all the very best of luck. Please welcome Steve Nuri, Head of Data Science and AI at the Australian Computer Society. Hi, Steve Nuri here. Thanks for joining us for the Digital Defense Hackathon. At the moment, we have more than 2,200 participants registered for this hackathon, mainly from the APAC region, which makes this one of the largest cybersecurity hackathons in the region. I know that all of you are waiting to hear more about the challenges. So without further ado, the first challenge is about deep fakes. You have definitely heard about deep fakes and probably have already watched a couple of fun clips made using deep fakes. Yes, deep fakes have so many potentials, especially spreading misinformation and fraud. So how we can work together, mitigating the negative impact of deep fakes. The second challenge is about cybersecurity exploits. As you know, DevOps is increasingly um, getting more uh, security focus. And we would like to know how we can improve the ability to catch more security issues. And also we are going to um, release a data set relating to this particular challenge. The third challenge is anomaly detection. And we would like to know how can we better understand, detect, and alert on some unexpected actions or suspicions, accounts, um, activities. We are releasing data sets regarding these challenges for those who would like to use some data analytics uh, to find some interesting insights in our data. So feel free to use tools and services provided by our awesome sponsors Oracle and IBM. Make sure you reach out to them to understand more about their offerings and help. All right, good luck to you. I'm eagerly looking forward to see the solutions submitted and developed through this hackathon. Thank you very much.